Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a camera obscura using some cardboard, a magnifying glass, some tracing paper and some tape. Let's get started. The first thing you need to know is the distance at which your magnifying glass will focus to infinity. By this I mean something that's a long way away. So here I've got a box with some white paper, I've got something to measure with and these are both pointed towards a window which is over there. All I need to do is hold my magnifying glass up to the box and just move it away until I get a clear image. So here I've got a clear image of the window. What I want to try and get in focus is something outside the window. So maybe a tree or a lamppost. So if I do that, and then once I'm happy with that distance, I can just make a note of it. So here it's about 21 centimeters. So now I know that to focus to infinity, I need my camera depth to be 21 centimeters. To make the camera itself, you could start with a net and build it up, but I find it easiest just to start with a box that's already made. So here I've got my box. I know that 21 centimeters is the depth I need to make it. So all I'm gonna do is mark 21 centimeters on here and then cut all the way around. So now I've got a box that's 21 centimeters deep and open on one side. This is gonna be the front of my camera. I'm just going to mark on the front where the lens is gonna go. So I'm gonna hold it in place and draw around the outside. And then I'll make a cut just inside that line. To attach the magnifying glass, I'm just gonna use some tape all the way around the outside. So that gives you the front of your camera. To do the back, I've just cut a section from the back of the same cardboard box. And I'm gonna add some tracing paper here. To do this, I'm gonna cut a square just inside from the edge and then add the tracing paper over the top. Okay, I've now got the front and the back of the camera. I'm gonna build up some sides to this, which will allow the back to move forwards and backwards and adjust focus. So to do this, I'm just gonna build four sides slightly wider than the widths of these all the way around, and that will allow the movement. So here I go. So now I've got the front of the camera with the side ready to go and the backs are ready too, so I can push the back into the front. So if I push that all the way in, the distance between the tracing paper there and the front is 21 centimeters that we measured earlier on. That will allow it to focus to infinity, but I can adjust that focus by pulling the back away from the front of the camera. And the easiest way to show you that is to put a camera inside the camera. Is it a stick or a stone? That is a stone. Can you drop it right in the middle of the puddle, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I got it in the, in the puddle. But now we don't want the puddle. Oh, there's a tiny puddle way over there because you get money. Five. <laughs> Should we go and play on the playground again? Yeah, I'm so good at it. Oh, me too. You've been wishing that I wrote this. 